Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I want to remind you to protect yourself at all times. Now, that could look many different ways. This uh, this topic reminds me of watching a kid get in trouble and hearing their parents tell them that punishing the child is going to hurt the parent way more than it's going to hurt the child. Although we come into adulthood, the lesson still rings true. That sometimes we have to do things that are going to seemingly hurt us more than others that are impacted. And that plays out in many different ways, but what comes to mind is stepping away from people, relationships, situations. In which when you review the situation or what you do not like or how it has a negative impact on you, you can either stick it out or you could let it go. Either way, it can be painful. But what we must realize is we can either hold on to pain or we can let the pain go. We can hold on to people to do us wrong or we can let them go. It's not about running away from the hurt. It's about understanding that depending on the choice that you make, you're either relieving yourself of the pain or you're holding on to the pain. Simple, not always easy. So I want to remind you that even in times when you have people in your life that you can't see yourself without, it's okay to take the necessary actions to remove them from your space. If it's a job, career, if it's a stranger, it doesn't matter. What you realize or know in your present moment is that it's not, it's not bringing a positive benefit to who you are or who you see yourself to be. And the simple idea of releasing a person, a thing, environment, it can be intimidating. It can be downright scary depending on what it is or how strong we bonded with it. But it doesn't mean it doesn't need to be released. And it's okay. Because the instant gratification that we sometimes see is not coupled with the bold moves that we must make for change. So being able to stay true, true to oneself and embrace something that we do not like decision-wise, it allows us to move freer who we truly are moving forward. It's okay to say no when someone is customer here, you say yes. It's okay to not commit when people around you tell you that there's a, a sense of loyalty that you owe them. It's okay. Trust in who you are. And sometimes you must remove yourself from people, not only because they're harmful to you, but it's because you realize that they're so harmful to their self that the way they treat you is simply collateral damage. And just because they don't understand or they don't want to be accountable for the role that they play in it, it doesn't mean you have to, should I say, comply with their ignorance to the fact. See, sometimes people can maneuver and act in a certain way or a certain light and in that they may feel powerful. But that power that they, or that seeming power that they feel is because they get a kick out of uh, thinking they can dominate others in whatever shape, form, or fashion. That's okay. That's false power, though. The true power is in the one who sees the mistreatment, sees the uh, unfair practices or activities, and they see how it impacts their sense of peace, their sense of love, their sense of grace. And when they step into their power and they say, nope, 
I'm not taking it. I'm not here to change you, but I'm going to make a change for myself that protects my peace. That's the individual who knows who they are and trusts who they are and know that they are backed by love and spirit. So I want to remind you that if there is a situation, if there is a person, if thought, if there is a group of people, uh, strangers, spam, what have you, if there's something that you feel obligated to, but it doesn't contribute to your peace of mind, stand within your power. Do the complete opposite of what you've been doing, which means starve the beast. Stop feeding the beast and starve the beast. If somebody's always begging for your attention somehow, some way, don't give them attention. Move about. If somebody likes to have you around their vicinity so they could be mean to you or nasty to you, remove yourself from environments where you'll be violent. Now, that's not always in our control. But it's a reminder to step within your power. Don't be scared about the fallout. Don't be scared about what's on the other side of that decision. Because you know what lies in the future of not making that decision. The same treatment, if not worse. So trust in who you are. Protect your peace. And move forward in that light in God's grace. That's a good place to leave it. Until next time, be blessed. And please, don't forget to smile.